Hey guys, Ambience here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to beat Ladies Night 1 on Ultimate Custom Night. This challenge is pretty easy, but it can be overwhelming on paper because of the large amount of new animatronics to deal with. However, because of their low difficulty settings, they're all super easy to manage if you know what to do. In this guide, I'll be breaking down a very beginner-friendly route that allows you to deal with every animatronic without breaking a sweat. This is going to involve a bit of cam stalling, a bit of office stalling, and very basic and lenient GMB cycles. Don't worry if you're new to UCN, by the way, I'll be explaining what all of these techniques are and how to use them today. Alright, let's get into it. The very first thing that you'll be doing at the start of the night is turning on the power generator. Don't worry about the fan or wet floor sign, you'll be leaving them alone entirely for this preset. Next, raise the monitor and go to the duct system. Here, you'll want to place the audio on the center left, just like I do here, to stop Happy Frog. Once you've done that, switch back to the cam system, go to cam 2, and drop the monitor. Now, I want to clarify something real quick. You'll be leaving the monitor set to cam 2 for the rest of the night. You don't have to actually be looking at the monitor, just don't change to a different camera or system. Ever. For any reason. I don't care if your friend told you that you can unlock Toy Golden Nightmare Phantom Funtime Glamrock Freddy by going to Cam 8 at 4.20am, leave the camera and system buttons alone. Do. Not. Touch. Why exactly am I pushing this point over and over? Well, this is where cam stalling comes in. When Baby and Rockstar Chica appear on Cam 2, they cannot enter the office as long as the monitor is set to Cam 2. However, the instant that you go to a different camera or system, the cam stalling is no longer in effect, and more often than not, it'll result in a jump scare. There's no reason to go to a different camera on this challenge, so just leave it on Cam 2 and save yourself the headache of plushies and wet floor signs, alright? Anyway, now that I've drilled that point into your head, let's talk about the other type of stalling, office stalling. This is pretty similar to cam stalling, except it works on a lot more animatronics. The goal in UCN is to only pull up the monitor when you absolutely have to. Not only does this save power, it also renders a majority of the animatronics unable to attack until you raise the monitor again. This is useful to ward off the vent animatronics currently active, which are Mangle and Wither Chica. Now, technically, it is possible to survive with both of them in the office from the very beginning, but that would mean that you're taking an unnecessary gamble and we don't want that. So, just sit in the office until the ventilation is about to go out. Once the office is a few seconds away from going completely dark, close the forward vent, raise the monitor, click reset ventilation, drop the monitor, and open the vent. Do all of this in order. Vent, monitor, reset, monitor, vent. If you do any of these actions out of order, you'll probably end up letting Mangle in or failing to reset the ventilation. Thankfully, on this preset, you can take it slow and do this over the course of a few seconds. Then go faster and faster as you get more comfortable with the motion, because you're going to need to do that on later presets. These two techniques should eliminate the biggest threats of this night. The only other animatronic that tends to be a pretty big issue is Chica, who resides in the kitchen. Basically, she has a chance to stop making noise, at which point you only have a short time to change the music before she escapes. From that point, she can attack you randomly whenever you're on the monitor. Again, it is possible to survive the entire night with Chica out, but it's not optimal. By learning basic GMB cycles, you can prevent her from escaping in the first place without ever having to change the music. Zero risk involved. Chica has a movement opportunity every 15 seconds on the dot. 15.0, 30.0, 45.0, and so on. Your goal is to have the global music box on during those intervals. You'll be running the power gen for most of the night, but turning the GMB on for just a second as you approach a 15 second interval, then switching back to the power gen after it's over. If you time this correctly, Chica will never move. Super easy once you get the hang of it. That's pretty much it for the bulk of this strategy. After the initial setup, it's just being ready to turn on the GMB for Chica and closing the vent on Mangle and Wither Chica. Along the way, there's a chance that some of the other animatronics might pop up on lower AI settings that can cause some problems. 
The scariest of these is probably Ballora, who has a small chance to show up during this night. If you hear her music and see the lights start flickering, shut the door on the side she's on immediately. You'll need headphones for this, of course, but if you don't have them, you can always just close both doors at the same time. Toy Chica also has a chance to appear every now and then, and probably will at some point. When you hear the static whirring noise from FNAF 2 and see her closing in from the left side of the office, throw on the Freddy mask until she goes away. The lights will also flicker, so don't confuse her with Ballora. JJ might appear in the side vent every now and then, and if she gets in, she'll lock your doors. This isn't a problem 99% of the time, but if you get really unlucky, Ballora might show up at the same time and kill you while you can't shut the door on her. It's a small possibility of her being dangerous, but I'd still recommend blocking JJ whenever you see her in the vent, just in case. Scrap Baby has a small chance to appear slumped over your desk. Controlled shocks drain your power, so don't use it unless absolutely necessary. Keep an eye on her while you're in the office. If she's looking up and staring at you, shock her before you raise the monitor again and she'll go back to normal. Funtime Chica might pop up eventually, but don't worry, she's merely a distraction. Just focus on the rest of the game and don't worry about her. Lastly, Jacko Chica is also active. She's incredibly easy to deal with, all you need to do is make sure that the temperature never at any point gets above 90 degrees. I recommend just leaving the fan on for the entire night to eliminate her, you'll have more than enough power regardless. This might seem like a lot to handle, but the majority of animatronics are actually quite rare, just things to keep in mind in case they do show up and you need to react quickly. For the most part, there's only three things to focus on. Pulling off the initial setup, never using the monitor with the vent open, and timing your GMB to deal with Chica. All in all, it should be pretty simple. Well, that's all for now. Follow the strategy, and you should be able to beat the 6th preset challenge. Was this challenge super easy for you, or was it kinda tricky? It seems to be a bit of a mixed bag, so let me know in the comments. Speaking of which, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or to join my community discord server. By joining the discord server, you can get personalized tips on any FNAF game from myself, True Player, Shooter25, and a bunch of other FNAF experts and content creators. It's a great community, and I highly recommend joining. One last thing, sorry for being a bit inactive lately, I've been taking some time to myself to relax a bit more and start going through my huge backlog of FNAF fan games to play, and I've been really enjoying that so far. Regardless, I'm looking to pick up the pace a bit and maybe finish off the challenges in February so we can get into the 50-20 guide, because I know a lot of you guys are waiting on that one. Anyway, speaking of being more active, I'll be streaming right here on YouTube on Wednesday, January 26th at 3pm CST, playing some FNAF fan games and chatting with you guys. Hope to see you there. And hey, thanks for 11,000 subs, I really and truly never thought we'd get this far, and I'm really grateful that you've all continued to support this dream of mine. Once again, thanks to my friend Hyper for making the thumbnail for this guide, I've always been pretty terrible at making thumbnails, so he's been helping out with that for a few months. His channel is linked in the description and cards, so go support him. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this guide, I hope it helped you, and I'll see you in the next one.